Okay, so this copper lap needs some resurfacing. Now let me show you exactly how I go through the process. Let me just get a good, a good view here so you can see everything I'm about to do. So I've got my old saw blade. First thing I want to do is just give this a wipe off so I can get everything off of it that is on there. You can do this with the blue alcohol. You can do it with kerosene. Sometimes you can even do it with acetone. But I just use the blue alcohol, it's fine. Then, if you were having some contamination problems, you can skim off the top layer. So, I'm just kind of taking it between my two fingers, or, you know, my kind of fold it in two a little bit. So it gives me a surface to hold on to. And then I'm just skimming off the top layer with the edge of the blade. And you can go back and forth. Basically just want to keep it running. You don't want to gouge it or take out more in one spot than another. And I don't know if you can notice, but it does, some copper will come up off the lap. Um, Yeah, so there's a good amount of material that's coming off. You just want to do it evenly. So that's cleaning it. That's skimming off the top. Now you want to resurface it or give it the texture that you want that's going to be good for the polishing. So holding it the same way and just going back and forth. You're just making really erratic scratch marks. So this is basically the same thing as using the razor blade. You can use the razor blade instead if you wanted to in this moment. And I can do them both at the same time, really. It doesn't, um, it doesn't really to track. You don't need to do both, but just so you can see how to do both. Basically, you just go all the way around, pretty close together, and then you go the other way, so it's cross-hatched. You just want, kind of want to get a consistent line from inside to outside. So now you've got your grooves, your textured surface. Uh, next step, well you can give it a little wipe off just to see if there's any excess metal that comes up. Or maybe old diamond stuff. But you can take your 02 or whatever grit you're using and do your fingerprints. Now you're rubbing it into the lap then you can rub it in the other way just to try to get as much of the diamond into those scratches as you can and make sure you get around the edge as well if you're using the edge of the lap to do your girdle then make sure you've got some you know, some diamond powder around the edge as well. Okay, so now everything's rubbed in. It's not caked on there. Next step is, well, there's two different ways you can do this. One, you can push it in with the ball bearing, this thing, if you have this. Or you can just use, you know, an, a, a piece of synthetic corundum I usually just use the table of this old recut synthetic corundum just to push in the diamond into the metal. I'll show you both ways just so you can see. So That's using the ball bearing cartridge.
And this way you're just pushing it down real hard. And you're just basically trying to push down the metal in case there's any metal that's sticking up. You're also pushing the diamond into the metal too. But you don't, you don't want um, the metal to give your stone scratches. And then whenever you finish, it should be nice, glassy, looks good. Final step, take a paper towel, find a clean spot. You're gonna wipe a little bit out of the inner ring because remember this is, the inner area is our final polishing area. So this outside ring is like more for when you're first putting in your facets and, and growing them and then your final touch is gonna be in this inner ring. So that's pretty much my whole process. I do that. Sometimes you have to do it, you know, if you're doing sapphires, you do it usually more often because they're harder, but maybe you do that every stone, maybe every other stone. Maybe you do it for the top and then you do it for the bottom. It really just depends. Um, if you're getting scratches, that's when you do it. If it's not cutting well, that's when you do it. Sometimes you just need to add a little bit more diamond powder, which you can do while it's running. And you can just rub it in like that. Sometimes that's all you need, but if you're getting a lot of scratches, uh, especially deep scratches that you can't get out or it's just not giving you a good polish, that's when you need to resurface. And that's pretty much how I do it every time. Um, using the topper lap, yeah, we made that one video that one time, but I never really got into doing that all the time because the this is easier and I don't have to have a, a topper lap to do that. So, And then so this is the final... The final look of it, it's, um, yeah, it's wet, but it's not, uh, it's not, uh, too extreme. And you can see all the cross hatches and all of the uh other lines that i put in with that saw blade so this should be nice and textured now which should do a good job for us